Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build this medieval Fletcher, this Rohan style Fletcher shop uh, that we actually have behind us. Uh, and this is the Conquest mod version. If you guys are looking for the default version, there is going to be a link in the description as soon as that video is up. Uh, but this will be the version using uh, purely using the Conquest Reforged mod. So if I show you guys uh, quickly the exterior, uh, it's a really really simple little building. I've got it stuck on the top of the kind of like top of this hill here so I've got quite a lot of foundations on it using a lot of the vertical slabs and also the corner blocks and uh, bits and bobs like that to actually build it up um, but we will be doing the tutorial on the flat so it's totally up to you if you have it there uh, you know feel free to build the base down and, and can like expand around the sides uh, it's got a couple little uh, sticky outy peak kind of roofs which makes it quite nice uh, on the interior and we have got Baldrick the Fletcher here who is wandering around uh, aimlessly <laughs> It's always in this field for some reason rather than inside the shop um, but anyway right so as an interior I did this as a let's build uh, you guys can find that on the channel as the uh, Hemberg series if you guys want to check that out um, here we go so we got a kind of like the actual shop part of it where they've got uh, you know bows and crossbows and arrows and things like that that he sells uh, it's also got some orders up on the board so people that have come to him with specific requests or maybe maybe they need their bow repaired and he's, he's got all the, like the orders there are just kind of like written up um, and bits and pops like that. Uh, in the back he's got his living quarters in here so we've got a nice little uh, kind of like seating area for the kitchen, a nice little kitchen area there, fireplace and then in the back he's got a nice bedroom in here as well as a little desk for a ledger so he can he can get all his taxes done and things like that. Uh, so pretty simple. Uh, it's all open as well at the top um, and this is so that the uh, kind of like fireplace over here all the heat does uh, does actually go through the entire house so to keep that going uh, if it's a really cold night. Um, at the back he's got another area where he actually does build some of the bows so he's got some rope and things like that and, uh, and he can build them all together and he's also got a couple uh, nice kind of like targets to actually use and, and practice on. I really really like the white plastic texture because it makes it look like it, it was painted once and it's been ruined over time whereas this one's a little bit newer uh, and unfortunately he has shot some of his arrows all the way over to the monastery uh, while practicing. Maybe they were bad arrows, maybe he's just a bad shot, I don't know. But um, yep, that's it. So uh, we're just going to do the building of this one. Um, and if you guys want to see the interior and see how I've done it, uh, there, there is a video of that for that, so you can check that out. For some reason, he's now on the roof, which is very odd. But anyway, let's get to the flat world. So here we are on the flat world. So if you guys grab your materials list, uh, we've got the birch beam and uh, Dan. Uh, Dolomite, there we go, Dolomite, hewn stone tiles, vertical oak planks, uh, oak wood slab, oak wood stair, and also light thatch. You can of course use any of the other thatches as well. Totally up to you guys what you want to use for the roof on this one. This is what the structure looks like as a layout with each of these points sticking up as being the logs. Um, so this just gives you an, a kind of like a visual idea of where we actually are in relation to the rest of the build, just in case you guys are trying to plan it out. Uh, we're actually going to start with this corner here, so if we go up by three blocks, one, two, and three. Then going to grab the hewn stone tiles and go across by five, so one, two, three, four, five. This is actually where we had the entrance in this part here, just to give uh, a guys a kind of like a reference. Then we're going to build up a pillar, one, one, two, and three. Going to go along to the side and have three blocks going across here, one, two, three. And then another pillar like that. Then we're going to go out by one, up by three blocks. Another three blocks going across, up by three blocks. Then you're going to have another block going back this time. And then up by three blocks like that, so we get this little sticking out bit here. We're then going to go across by two blocks. I have a pillar, which is really odd for me, but it, it seems to work on this build. So there we go, so we have that there. Then we're just going to mirror the other side where we've got this five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then another pillar. Now this time we go off to a diagonal with three blocks. And then we get three blocks going across here. Another pillar, and then we go back diagonal. And then we get four blocks, which again is really odd for me, but there we go, that'll do. So if we just randomly build up some of these bits, um, and this is just adding a little bit of variation to this base, and again, if you guys have built this um, on a hill like I did, feel free to you know build this stone going down and, and, and do your variation blocks around it, especially in the corners, this one's quite good for that. So if we have something like that, that'll do. Uh, and we're just going to switch in a little bit of dolomite as well, just as a variation block. Because uh, I think these two go really well together. It just adds in a bit, bit of a kind of like darker kind of uh, tone. It just gives it a bit, bit of a different texture, really, which I, I quite like. There we go, something like that. Right, let's build up the frame. So uh, what we're going to do is going to do an A-frame going across the front part here. Let's just build up these. And then on the side, the exact same thing. Of course, this one will be a block lower because we're 
We've got a free gap in here rather than five. And then the other side of this, which is the main roof part of it. It's the kind of dominant roof as such. So there we go, build that up. Like that. And then the same on the other side as well. It's another small little roof bit. Like that. And then what we're going to do is with our vertical oak planks, we're going to just fill this in. There we go, so build up. Like this. So we just go around the entire build, of course, doing this. You can, of course, um, you know, use whatever wood you use. This is just the variation block that I used uh, in my one. So this just this just happened to kind of like come up rather than anything else because we used quite a few other ones. So if you grab your like that, what we're going to do is we're just going to start going around the roof. So we're just going to use blocks at first and just do your normal Minecraft kind of roof where we just join up all of the parts. Of course, this bit will just go straight across. There we go, like that. This back down here and this will go around. Like that, there we go. Then down here, go around. And here. Like this. Like that. Like that, there we go. And now what you're going to do is you going to have your oak wood stairs going up on the sides here. Upside down one at the top. And build this going down. Putting your upside down ones just to smooth out that uh, looking like uh, the edging, I guess. Then we're gonna have the uh, kind of like Rohan flick, so just put an outward, outer facing stair on each of those ones. Right in the middle, we can have our oak wood slabs going over the top like that. Then we're gonna have our stairs going down, and same on the other side, upside downs, putting those in, and the same putting in that flick. Then we'll do these edge ones as well. So there we go. Put your stairs up. Upside down stair. Stairs going that way. Put your flick in. And put your upside downs in as well. Like that. Jump over to the other side and we'll do the same thing. Oops. There we go. If I can place them properly, that is. There we go. So put those in and upside down stair there. Upside down stair there. And put in our stairs like that. Going to have our slabs going into this bit. And then a stair here, and same with the other one. Like this, and a stair in there. Then with your slabs, put a slab underneath this bit, and then bring this around. Right underneath, and around these bits as well. And there, and around. To there, and around. This and that's it. There we go. So that's it for that bit. So what we can do now is if we uh, actually cut out some of the windows. So if we actually grab a window for one, we need if I can find it. <laughs> pretty sure I used the brown window pane for this one. Uh, yeah, I definitely did. Right. So we grab that and also grab the wooden board. Of course, you can do whatever you want with the windows, but cut out a door uh, and. Actually, put in a door. I think we're just going to go with the oak one because it's nice and simple. Uh, we're also going to get a an item frame and a bow. Uh, I've got the real bow, not the real bow, but you know what I mean. The tall version of the bow. This one here. There we go. Put that up there, and we'll have that there, facing over that way. And then we're going to have a window. So if we cut out these two, put in your window, and then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to have this open using the boards to actually have that open like that. There we go. Uh, you can have a window like on the side if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. Uh, we need to get onto that actually. We need to get onto the uh, uh, the chimney. Right, if we cut out a door here and put in a window, not there, but there. And we can do the same thing. Or we can have this one closed. Let's have this one closed, for example. So we've got the board going across it. We can have one up here is what I ended up doing. Uh, this is for the bedroom side of it. And just put one of these on the side. There we go. Okay. Cool. Right, so let's get on to the chimney, which is uh, a bit more complicated, <laughs> to say the least. If we actually grab stone brick this time, um, let's actually use stone brick on this bit. And of course, we're going to need the slabs and uh, the corner blocks to actually build this. So, first things first, we're going to go on the inside. I'm actually going to cut back this quite a lot. So, if we cut these ones out over in here, cut these and then cut these. Then what we can do uh, is we can actually get onto this. I'm actually going to have a quick look at my picture that I've got of the inside of this one. 
So what I ended up doing is cutting out this entire wall and putting in stone brick. Uh, and then actually had two, like kind of like a couple vertical slabs. Um, now my wall happened to build the way up to here, so you can do that if you wanted to. Uh, and then I've actually got some stairs going in, so I've actually got normal stairs for this part, not not those. That's not a stair. It's not a stair, even even the slightest. There we go. So if we grab the stairs like that, put those in there. And uh, also switch out a block like that. So there we go. So we get this like little gap uh, kind of area, and this is where we'd have the actual fire. So we'll just get the coals, get the hot coals, and we'll get the flint and steel. Yeah, we'll s oops, don't put that one over there. So that's the light. There you go, so at least we've got that one going. And now we can start doing some detailing around the actual outside of this. If I get my picture back, there we go. Right, so detailing around the outside of this, what we can do, of course, we've got a lot of these uh, awesome blocks. So we can actually start to use a lot of them, which is, is absolutely great. So we, for example, have like this maybe, and then we have maybe this one on the side here. Uh, if we don't get rid of that, just realise this is Stonebrook, Stone uh, Brick Monster Egg, which is not what we want. That one is as well. Damn it, I hate that. <laughs> this even it even exists. Alright, that one. That one even. Stone Brick, okay, so that's fine. So I've got some normal ones. So if we have this here, put that back in there. I'm gonna have the corner block here. Might even have another corner block or something like that. I'm just going to build this up. I might even... No reason why we can't have that. That seems to go out, which is really, really odd. I've never seen it do that before. Because it seems to work on mine, so I have no idea why that's that's going out. That's really odd. Um, anyway, if we cut this out here, and what we're going to have is stone brick. We'll have a stair on the side of it. Actually, we've got a stair already, haven't we? There we go. Go up a stair on the side of that one. A slab on that one. Or oh, actually, I think it needs a slab, doesn't it? It needs a slab somewhere. Mm, so I'm not what I'm not happy about is this bottom bit here. I know what I'm trying to do, it's just I'm not doing it very well. And I'm definitely not doing it very well if I do that. So we need something to smooth out this. Uh, I think it might be this block here that's actually doing it. So if we have that there. Something like that, and I think it might also be that we're not going out with a lot of these blocks, which would definitely help. Definitely, definitely help. There we go. So even if we had something like that, on the sides, as long as as well as a simple thing like that. There you go. So for something like that, then we'll have uh, a block going up here, and I think in the end I end up using an anvil, which I know is not an anvil, it's a balustrade, but something like that will do. Uh, for the inside. There we go. And yeah, again, I have no idea why it was going out. Really, really odd. Maybe it just was for some very, very strange reason. Um, you can, of course, uh, fill in the inside with uh, your blocks. I've done the default version. Yeah, that just keeps on going out. That's really, really weird. Really, really weird. I've never seen it done do that before. So if we have the uh, stairs going around here, for example. We have these going around. I think there's actually a stair there, isn't it? It's a monst bleep, monster's egg. Let's yeah, so have that there. Let's now stop that from going weird. Have this in here, put this in here, and we'll have this going all the way around. On top, even. Like that. So we can do this. Fill this in as well. Now, pretty sure, yeah, I put a, a slab in that side, so we'll do the same there. Put all of this in. Big blocks in, stairs in, things like that, and you slab, and they can wrap that around like that. There we go, nice and simple, really, really super simple little build. Right, so yeah, if you guys want to put uh, another uh, window in, you can of course. Just grab these two, uh, so one could go up here, for example, or it could go on this side. You know, you can have it right in this bit here. Um, if we put it up here, for example, let's put this one, put this one up a little bit higher. And we'll have it open, so if we put this on the side, put it down, there we go, so we've got a nice window. Alright, so, next couple of little bits. Um, one thing that I keep on forgetting for some reason, um, is the railing. 
This is actually something I've done on most of the most of my builds in uh, on Hamburg, and it's actually just putting up the railing on these bits here, I'm just knocking them down like this. So you guys can do the exact same uh, if you want to. That is, you just have to make sure you get the direction right. So pretty much, if you want to go in this way, uh, you start with the top one and work your way down, and uh, when you go the other way, just do it from the bottom going up, and that's it. And yeah, you can do that onto onto all these ones really on on these edges, uh, just to make it look a bit more interesting. Right. So if we get onto uh, detailing the roof now, you grab the light thatch. We'll grab uh, these stairs slab, and also a trapdoor, and the typical kind of stuff that I end up doing with these is just to uh, try and smooth it out. Well, not really try to smooth it out. Try to make it lumpier actually, and make it a little bit a bit more interesting. I have that there, and I'm actually going to cut through this one like this. I've done two. I don't want to do both of those. Uh, let's just put in something like that, I think. And then the stair on this side. There we go. Something like that looks right. There we go. That will do. And then same kind of stuff on this side as well. We have bits and bobs going in and out. Like this. There we go. That was a nice, simple, easy one. Uh, cover up this one here. Have a stair going in, perhaps. Something like that will do. Uh, actually, I like that. That one worked. So, something like there. I uh, might even have this one chunk kind of like coming out. Um, so, okay, I have that there. Of course, I'm forgetting all my trapdoors that we might have to add in. He's in a second, actually. So, I knew I was missing something. I just. Couldn't think what it was until I just saw that I got trapdoors in my hand. It's because I did the default version of it just before this this tutorial. So there we go. If we add in some of these trapdoors just to add in that extra look, like little height to it all, uh, and it d does just make a, a world of a difference, really. World of difference. Um, there we go on top of that one, and then the last little bit here, which is on this side. I have this going to here. Some stairs going out. Maybe some slabs. And these, oops, these here as well. Like this. So you put those in there. That in there. And build these up as well. There we go. Something like that will do. But that is it, guys, for the tutorial. Uh, if you guys do want to see the interior, of course, I have got a let's build on it of how I've done mine. Um, but if you guys come up with an interior, please feel free to send it over to me as on Twitter, which is uh, Twitter slash uh, Lord Ducker. That'd be awesome. But hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, subscribe, guys. I'll see you on the next one.